Hi, we're out on the range today, so bear with gunfire you hear in the background. Today we're talking about backup guns for concealed carry. Is that a good idea? Some people will say yes, some people will adamantly say no. And really, it's a trade-off. There are some very good reasons to carry two guns, and some very good reasons not to. And if I wanted to do a truly in-depth analysis of this subject, especially if I wanted to placate the What If Brigade, I could be here all day. So, for today, let me just hit what I consider to be the most relevant high points of both sides of the argument. The number one reason I hear in support of why you should carry a backup gun is because it gives you the ability to do a non-dominant hand, single-handed presentation. Now, I'm right-handed, so if you're lefty, just mirror image everything I'm saying. The concept is that the most popular place to carry your pistol is on your right hip, and if your main gun hand is engaged fending off an attack, you can, with your non-dominant hand, deploy your backup gun. Obviously, that would require that you carry your backup gun in a place you can reach it with your left hand. Well, that makes sense. Let's give it a try. Obviously, accuracy and speed can suffer, but if you have to shoot like that, you're probably shooting point blank. Now, that seems like a valid reason to carry a backup gun. However, most popular place to carry your gun is on your right hip. And if you practice it, and if you have the right holster, you can reach around with your off hand and grab that pistol from behind. Now, let's try that. Again, obviously, accuracy and speed suffers. But it can be done. So, is that a valid reason to carry a backup gun? You'll be the judge. Also, for your non-dominant hand single-handed presentation, a shoulder holster, depending on what kind it is, can make your handgun pretty easy to reach. Let's give it a try. Again, obviously accuracy suffers, but if you have to shoot like that, you're probably shooting point blank. And so, although we can see in this situation a backup gun might be a good idea, there's other ways to accomplish the same goal. Another reason I hear in favor of a backup gun is that you can arm someone who can act as an ally to you. When you hear something like that, it sounds like it was posited by the commanding general of the What If Brigade. However, I've actually been in that situation a couple of times. I was out with one other person on a four-day field training exercise, and we got dropped off so there was no transportation, no communication, and about half an hour into this, his gun broke. I don't mean it malfunctioned, I mean it broke. And so, because I had two, I was able to loan him one, and it wasn't exactly a matter of life or death, but it meant that he didn't have to go without a gun for a four-day field training exercise. On another occasion, when it was a matter of life and death, I did in fact pull out a handgun and hand it to somebody and tell them, if you need to shoot, shoot, all you gotta do is pull the trigger. Now, that person did not end up having to shoot, but still, it was really nice to have the secondary gun. So, the ability to have two guns and arm someone else is something that is not very common, but it might very well happen. It's happened to me. The third biggest argument I hear in favor of carrying a backup gun is that you can reach for a second gun faster than you can reload. Well, in the days of single action revolvers, that was absolutely true. In the days of double action revolvers prior to speed loaders, that was absolutely true. Is it still true? Well, we'll put that to the test in a second. But remember, if you're going to do that, now your backup gun has to be somewhere where you can reach it with your primary gun hand. Located here, if I have to do a non-dominant hand, single-handed presentation, I still can. But the gun is here where I can reach it with my dominant hand, which is going to be a lot faster for a New York reload. So what I'm going to do first is shoot five out of my primary, then load with the speed loader and shoot five more, and then we'll try the New York reload and see if that's any faster. And we'll shoot from seven yards.
Now we'll try it with two guns to see how that compares. Now I've got a new repair center up there. So let's try the two gun method and see if that's any faster. Is that any faster? Maybe a little, you be the judge. But right now a lot of you are asking, well instead of carrying two five-shot revolvers, why don't you just carry one ten-shot autoloader? Good question. Let's try it with autoloaders. Now we're talking about the practicality of reloading as opposed to reaching for a second gun. Well, side note to everything we're talking about today, reloading. Almost daily I hear people say, that revolvers are antiquated and have no place in concealed carry, primarily due to their lack of magazine capacity. Most revolvers hold six, the ones I've been shooting today hold five. Although accurate statistics on how many rounds someone fires in a citizen involved shooting are extremely hard to get, the statistics I do see and my own experience tells me that most of the time someone shoots two, three, four rounds so the five rounds in these revolvers I've had today is going to be sufficient. To have to reload one of them would be rare. To reload one and then shoot the additional five rounds you reloaded would be extremely rare. So although I am a hearty proponent of doing magazine change drills and learning how to load your autoloader fast, Reality is if you carry a 10, 15, 18 shot autoloader, the chances that you're going to have to reload it are really slim. And if you do have to reload, the idea that you could reach for a different pistol faster than you could just change magazines, that doesn't seem likely. But let's put it to the test. Now I'm not going to shoot all 15 that this pistol holds, but I'll shoot about five and then we'll reload and then we'll try it again with reaching for a second gun. And again, we'll shoot at seven yards. Okay. Now, that seemed to go pretty well. Now, let's try it with using a second gun instead of reloading and see if that goes any better. And I gotta say, doing a magazine change allowed me to shoot more accurately than switching to a second gun. And it didn't really seem any faster to switch to a second gun. But you be the judge. So we've seen the big three reasons to carry a backup gun. There's lots of reasons, but those are what I consider the big three. The ability to do a non-dominant hand, single-handed presentation, the ability to arm somebody else, and because it can be faster than reloading. However, we also saw that if you have a shoulder holster or you reach behind yourself, then for your non-dominant hand presentation, there's other ways to solve that problem besides just carrying a secondary gun. Arming someone else, rare but real. And as far as being faster than reloading, that depends on what kind of guns you have and how you carry them. Now, the 10 shots you get out of these two revolvers, you're going to get out a lot slower than the 15 in one autoloader. But there are some people that carry revolvers because they really dislike autoloaders. There's some people that just, that's the guns available to them. And sometimes you can't always carry the gun you really want to carry. Let me give you an example. Let's say you work at the clinic and you wear hospital scrubs and running shoes and that's what you wear. Well, you might carry this gun stuck in your sock and this gun stuck in your other sock. And for guns like this, yeah, carrying two guns is a lot faster than reloading one. And it just depends on your situation if doing the New York Reload is better than reloading your single gun. Now, those are the reasons to carry a backup gun. What about the reasons not to? There's lots of them. Let me cover what I consider to be the big three. And let me warn you right now, I don't need to shoot anything to demonstrate these points. So this will be the boring part of the video where I talk. First. Carrying a gun is a hassle. Carrying one gun is a hassle. 
there's a lot of people that get their permit, carry a gun for about six months, then quit carrying it because it became so much of a hassle, and then at some point they become the victim of crime and they're helpless because they didn't carry their gun when they needed it. If you didn't carry one because it was a hassle, how much hassle is it to carry two? Now, if your secondary one is something like this, well, then it might not be such a big hassle. Although when it comes to arming someone else, he might not thank you if you give him one of these. So, big thing, it's a hassle. Two, it attracts attention and scrutiny from law enforcement that you don't want and don't need. Now, I could talk about just this subject for over an hour, but I'm going to try to be as brief as I can. As a concealed handgun license holder, you are already under scrutiny. I'm sad to say I've personally witnessed it when the police and the district attorney's office tried to make people look like criminals even though they knew it was a legitimate shooting, knew that the citizen had not broken any laws. And I'm not going to say that's really commonplace. I'm just going to tell you I've seen it. Carrying two guns will get you scrutiny you don't want. It will get you called nasty names like vigilante, and people will say you have a Lone Ranger complex. Yeah, the Lone Ranger carried two guns. And it's the same thing as having asinine bumper stickers like the picture of the gun with a caption that reads, I don't call 911. It's just scrutiny you don't need. The third reason, put very simply, is that carrying two guns is unlawful. Now, I am not an attorney, and I have not lived in all 50 of the 50 states. However, I have lived in several states, and I do consult with law enforcement professionals and criminal defense attorneys before I make presentations like this. And based on the research that I've been able to do, I think over 40 of the 50 states prohibit the carrying of two guns by concealed handgun license holders. By all means, check with your own attorney and check your local laws before you start carrying two guns. But short version is, in most places, it's not an option that's legally open to you. But all of that brings us back to what we started with. There are some good reasons to carry two guns and some very good reasons not to. And no one can really make the decision as to what's right for you except you. So all that having been said, don't try this at home. I'm what you call a professional. And thanks for watching the Backup Guns for Concealed Carry video.